Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. I, 32 male, told my wife, 33 female, she was manipulative, and now I've ruined everything. I met my wife nine years ago. She's an American, and I'm European. She moved early with me and lived on my country. Early on, I noticed she had anger management issues, and to be honest, I was madly in love with her, and I just blamed myself and tried to please her more. It wasn't bad or even often, just red flags in retrospective. For example, one time we had an argument and she told me she was done and was browsing flights back to the US. I knew she was alone here and didn't speak the language, etc. And I didn't want her to feel trapped or in danger, so I didn't try to argue. I said sure and let her contact her family. She then asked me if I wasn't going to do anything to try to keep her or change her mind. Of course, when she said that, I talked with her and she stayed. I was very relieved then, but now I can't help but see it as a manipulation. Why would she threaten to leave if she didn't really plan to? It was just for me to agree with her? Our relationship was happy, as long as I agreed with her. Things were fine, but she could get very angry at times. She never was physical though. Sometimes when we disagreed about something, she would say that she thought our relationship was special, but since we couldn't agree, then I guess it's just like everybody's. And of course, I would run into it. We had a kid, and then things took a turn. Before we had him, we agreed that she would tell him about our faith. She was Protestant then, and I would tell him that I didn't believe in God. Right after we had him, we moved to the US for her degree. I took a third shift job, and she went to school. Quickly, she started picking up fights about my lack of faith, threatened divorce, etc. We would talk things through, and a couple of days after the same issue would rise again. After she graduated, we moved back to Europe. We had another kid after my dad died. It was a lot. I was working, taking care of the house, the kids, etc. Meanwhile, she fell in love with the Catholic Church and converted. After a bit, she told me she wanted another kid. I told her I wanted to wait. That didn't go well. Since she converted, she refused to use birth control anymore. We argued a lot. I told her I loved her and that we had two kids in two years and that I was obviously committed, but I was feeling overwhelmed and I needed time and support. She didn't accept it. She pushed and pushed. She told me I was making her feel bad for wanting a kid with me. She just wouldn't understand my point. We would talk and two days later, I would start again. It was fight after fight. She would look at flights, threaten divorce, splitting the kids, etc. After a while, I just gave in. I couldn't take it anymore. After the birth, things were super rough. We had a wreck and we couldn't go anywhere and the baby was fussy. I told her I was frustrated because That was what I was talking about. She looked at me confused. She said we never had those fights and that we both agreed. When I mentioned our fights, she said I was trying to gaslight her. In the meanwhile, she decided that I needed to become Catholic and become a strong Catholic figure for the kids because they didn't show a lot of interest in the gospel. I didn't want to. She said that if I refused, she would do everything she can to take the kids away from me. I started the conversion process. She made me read scripture and stuff with the kids. My kids are smart. They understand. When she suggested the fourth kid, I just agreed. I didn't have it in me to fight. We agreed that I would get an extended child care leave, three years unpaid, and take care of the kids. I was already very close to my kids, but I grew even closer. She works from home and makes four times what I make, but she doesn't do anything in the house except folding laundry from time to time or sweep the living room. I cook, I bathe the kids, I take medical appointments, I take them outside, I clean the house, change the diapers, put them down, read a story, do groceries. Oh, and she decided they needed to be homeschooled or we would be failures as parents. She started to teach them while handling two small children in the meantime. At least I got to take them to the child psychiatrist because I want their level to be constantly evaluated. Well, yesterday she started a fight again and I couldn't take it anymore. I can't stand to show my boys that it's okay to be stepped on all the time. I am terrified that she will take my kids from me, but this can't go on any longer. I told her she needed therapy, that she was manipulative. I was hoping for an epiphany. She blew up, told me I was dishonest for never telling her, saying that I was making things up to deflect what she was accusing me of, not being Christian enough, being too messy. I have to take care of four small kids and handle everything. I'm fixing freaking leaks under the faucet with an infant strapped to me because she will not hold him. She said that she will keep all her money for herself. We have some debt we took together, but put in my name because at the time, her paperwork wasn't finalized and not paying for anything. She kept all the means of communication with her to make things hard on me. Of course, she told me she would throw my stuff outside, etc. 
Sometimes she tells me that she will leave and that I keep the kids and sometimes she says she will take the kids. Of course, I took a lawyer. Thankfully, I have friends helping me because I am not financially well off. And she started the divorce process. I am still afraid of kidnapping. Today she told the kids that I didn't like them. I didn't want them and that they were the reason I was overwhelmed. It hurt so much to see she could stoop this low. I don't really know what to do now. I will go back to my mom's house, but my wife says she doesn't want the kids there. I told her I didn't want the kids at her sister's, her only support, her house. It's not to be difficult. It's because her nephew, 16 male, is accused of molesting smaller children everywhere he goes and was accused of rape again recently by his cousin. I don't know how much this is enforceable. I'm waiting on my lawyer's call. The atmosphere at home is very toxic and my wife is visibly unstable. Right now, I have an overdrafted account. We are renting a house that will probably be too expensive for me to keep, and I'm terrified of giving it back. Our landlords are a sweet elderly couple, and while I manage to take care of the inside, the house is a mess. The hedge is four years overgrown. She wants me to keep the kids with me while I do outside work, but our third kid is terrified of machinery and screams when he hears it, and I cannot trim a hedge with an infant and a baby carrier. She wanted chickens, so there are patches with no grass, etc., and I don't know where to start to fix this. I'm working on getting a web development degree so I have more disposable income, but my wife is making it incredibly difficult because she doesn't want to watch the kids while I study or listen to a lecture. I realize part of it is my fault, but after the first kid, I was really afraid to lose him, especially since she makes more than me. I love my kid more than anything, and we are always together. I don't care about what she does or takes, but I want to keep my kids with me. I would be happy with 50-50, but she wants to go back to the States. All right, time for some community comments. Yogi Reaper says, don't say anything negative about her to any kids. Document her bad mouthing you. This is called alienation and judges really frown on it. Stay clean, no alcohol even. Try your best with the kids and let the courts work everything out. From the sounds of it, she financially abused you and emotionally abused you as well. I would consider therapy for yourself. Take it from someone who went through a similar thing a few years ago. Have faith in yourself and then you are doing better than you think. The OP responds, Thank you. After this morning when she told the kids I didn't want them and didn't like them, I told them that their mom loved them, but she was angry that sometimes angry people try to hurt other people. I told them it wasn't right of her to try to hurt me using them and that it wasn't their fault. I didn't badmouth her ever in front of the kids. Savage Fleur de Lee 23 says, Document, document, document. I would journal everything down with dates and times and what was said and done. I would also record nasty conversations she has with you as proof. When shit hits the fan, you're going to need all of the documentation as proof as much as possible. You didn't ruin anything. You were manipulated, used, and abused. I'm so sorry. It's now time to have a solid defense to protect yourself and to protect the kids. Please look into counseling or therapy for yourself and the kids. Your wife, on the other hand, is a lost cause. Don't take your abuser to therapy. They'll just find ways to abuse you better. Thunter S. Hompson says, Sounds like my bipolar ex. I'm really sorry for you. I don't have advice, but I will tell you that dating someone not like that is so refreshing after 10 years of walking on eggshells. Also, I would think she can't take the kids away from their home, which is with you. At least, that's how it is in the States. The OP's final comment, Thank you. You are spot on with the walking on eggshells things. It's been my life for nine years. I asked her over and over to seek help, but it's always someone else's fault, usually mine. What breaks my heart is that I noticed my older boy is using the same techniques I do to gauge her mood, being extremely sweet, picking up extra work, etc. All right, we got time for one more bonus story and some comments before we close out this episode. Wife had a miscarriage she never told me about. Last year, I still had to do some traveling for work during COVID, and I was gone for almost two months. For some time after I got back, I noticed she wasn't really herself, but she just said she was feeling depressed from being cooped up in the house all the time. Today though, today I came home and she was crying in the bathroom. Had no idea about what, but I held her until she calmed down. Then she told me the story. Beginning of last year, we started trying to have a baby. We then decided to hold off on that with everything that was going on. But a few days after I left, she took a pregnancy test and went to the doctor. She found out she was pregnant. My wife wanted to wait for me to get back so she could tell me in person. A few weeks after that, she said she had a lot of bleeding and found out she had miscarried. 
Then, she just never told me. My wife knew how much we wanted to have a baby. This would have devastated me and she didn't feel right breaking my heart too, but she couldn't take it anymore. Today was the one year anniversary of when we lost our baby, so everything she was keeping bottled up to act like nothing was up all came out. I don't even know what to think or feel. It's like I'm having a whole range of emotions, but numb at the same time. For a short period, I had a child and that child is gone, and I'm just learning of their existence. I didn't get to mourn them the way they should have been mourned. I can't even imagine how hard it was for my wife to grieve in silence. That's another thing that's really getting to me. My wife was suffering on the inside and I was just oblivious to it. It hurts to know she was in pain this whole time. So that's everything going on right now. I'm here asking for any sort of advice on how to handle this. Feel like I should be doing something with my wife to make this better and also sort out my own feelings about this. What can I do to handle any of this? Our first comment from J-H-W-G. That's tough, and I'm sorry your wife and yourself are going through all this pain. Your wife tried to protect you out of love, and I admired that. But I also understand how you may feel like she should have told you so both of you can mourn the child and support each other. Whatever you do, however you feel, just remember that she did it out of pure love. The best thing you can do is to not fold and keep to yourself, but be there for both of you. The OP responds with, Oh no, I'm not holding this against her. I'm mostly sad that she had to go through this alone, and well, I'm sad we lost a child that I didn't know about until now. And thank you, I appreciate that very much. Consequence that 7421 says, I can relate to your wife. My partner and I had a miscarriage last summer. I didn't tell him at the time, but did later. The reason was because he was going through some stuff regarding a family death that was sudden and tragic, and basically a mental breakdown. So at the time, I felt like I only had space for my grief and not his. I'm a natural caregiver, and I just didn't have the energy to console him in addition to myself. I just focused on myself and went through it alone. It made sense at the time. I told him about it three months later, and we talked about it from time to time. We are currently trying for a baby. Sometimes things become overwhelming, and it's just easier to focus on ourselves. I hope this helps. All you can do is be there for her and keep an open dialogue. Mm -hmm.